Tesla hardware version 3.0, is that where we're getting from Elon Musk? It looks like we are. So uh, the version 9 software ha had come out to some mixed reviews, a lot of negative reviews. I haven't even gotten in my Tesla, um, and I know I won't get all the features because it's uh, uh, Autopilot 1, uh, version 1, and I know it gets kind of confusing, the version, the software versions for the interface, and then there's like Autopilot versions, there are hardware versions. All right, so let me remind you and kind of refresh your, your memory on this one. Um, the hardware, original hardware was from the company called Mobileye that was since then purchased by uh, Intel, and they created the first uh, uh, version of Autopilot software and the hardware, but then uh, Tesla had a bit of a breakup with them because uh, Mobileye said, listen, you're making us make this whole stuff way too quick. I don't know if it's gonna be safe. There's gonna be some issues. We don't wanna do it. And so they ended up kind of breaking up and Tesla ended up saying, oh, we don't need you. We're okay here. We'll develop our own hardware and software. And so when they came up with a new hardware, it was hardware 2.0, it was all Tesla, more cameras, more radars, better technology, a, a, a newer computer. But the software took like literally two years to catch up to 1.0. And I had a major problem with it. There were lawsuits and a lot of you guys had major problems with it because you would buy a Tesla with a 2.0 hardware and oh, 2.0 autopilot and it would not be as good as you know autopilot from two years ago and little by little by little they were releasing you know features some of them weren't really working uh, correctly at first and only in, not until like half a year ago really maybe even beginning of this year when they finally caught up and started making new features now the biggest new feature that they promised ended up not making it into version 9.0 elon promised it in the next few weeks um, so we'll we'll see what happens with that. Now, uh, after that, after they came up with the 2.0 uh, hardware version, they ended up coming up with 2.1 and 2.5 hardware version, which essentially was just a, a, a more powerful computer. Um, and that was kind of, that was pretty much it. And Elon said from the very beginning, listen, the computer, if it's not powerful enough, when all the self-driving features that we're going, you know, promise you guys in the future, when they're going to come out and require a stronger computer, we are going to just give it to you for free. We're going to swap it out as long as you have the full self-driving package. Now, by the way, let me remind you, the full self-driving package um, has kind of two levels to get to it. Uh, you, you're going to end up spending around 10000 extra dollars for that. I don't think it's worth it right now. Maybe in the future when there's level three or maybe even level four autonomous driving is available, then I think it might be worth it. Um, again, depends on your budget. To me, it isn't. Um, I don't even care for most of my autopilot one features, uh, except for maybe self parking and 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 the summon. Uh, that those are those are I do use those. I actually used it yesterday, because uh, where I live now there's a lot of trucks. So when you park between two humongous trucks, you kind of have to use some uh, some feature, right? Um, now, the way they got to creating their own hardware, uh, well, l l let me tell you in a second. Let me first, you know, uh, uh, make sure that you guys are aware that uh, this show and this uh, 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 channel is sponsored by Avonex, uh, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla, and they upgrade their hardware all the time. You can shop for it, tons of Model 3 uh, stuff now. So when as you're gearing up, to, you know, getting presents for Christmas, this is a good time. Um, and there's a discount code in the description of this video that they've released specifically for this community check that out anyway so as i was saying uh, you know uh, tesla hired one of the amd's uh, chip architects uh, jim keller um, and everybody got really excited uh, because everybody thought and turned out to be true that uh, tesla was creating their own chip self-driving chip uh, specifically for them which is a, a really big deal other companies are now made doing it as well including nvidia um, and, and unfortunately jim uh, keller ended up leaving and it, he, his job was to, uh, taken over but by, by uh, Pete Bannon, who was also one of the architects that were, that were brought in as part of uh, a Jim's team from AMD, um, looks like main design was already you know done, so that was that was all right, and looks like uh, uh, Pete's been doing a pretty good job as well. So that's how it all came around. Now, uh, Elon sent out a tweet. Uh, yesterday, a couple of them in reply. So he's now saying that, kind of giving us a timeline, though that little tilde, whatever you guys call that sign, means approximately. And when Elon Musk says anything, you know, it's already approximately. So it's, we don't know. But he's saying six months before it's going into the production. 
uh, there will be no other changes to anything, sensors or whatever. Uh, he's basically saying this is just simply upgrade to the uh, computer that's in charge of autopilot. Um, and of course, if you have ordered that $10,000 altogether full self-driving package, um, you will have that swapped out for free. Um, and, and by the way, somebody asked him, well, how fast is it? He said it's somewhere uh, between 500 and 2000 um, percent. I think it's just a complicated way of saying five to 20 times faster. You math wizards, let me know in the comment section, but that's what I think is if you ask me five to 20 times faster, which is by the way, very fast. Uh, because the, the, the current one is pretty impressive and from my understand the uh, version 9 software is already much much more complicated especially when it comes to neutral net uh, uh, software and, and, and to have this uh, increase is definitely going to be epic and that's how they're going to be getting closer and closer to full self-driving capabilities. Um, so yeah, so that's the news there. Let me know if you guys really even care. I think this is a big deal because um, you know Tesla has been behind on self-driving features as far as software is concerned, but as hardware, they could just be one of the leaders. I know it's kind of funny, right? Uh, the hardware is probably one of the best, their own custom-made chip, but the software is kind of uh, behind. Um, we'll see what happens, but this is definitely great news. All right, let's move on to the featured comment. And uh, this one actually comes from uh, Richard Robertson. And uh, this was about me saying how the cheapest Tesla Model S that you can buy um, is now more than $10,000 more than it used to be. And now the price is going to go up because of the phased out um, tax credit it's going to be cut by 50%. Um, he says technically a Model S or Model X today is a worse buy than in 2016. Yeah, you've gotten hardware 2.5, I guess, versus 2.0, but Tesla uh, claims no difference. Well, that's an interesting point. Yes, the price have gone uh, up and I really don't think it's worth it. And this is one of the reasons I didn't get into a new Tesla. I just extended my lease. I will probably be switching to e-tron anyway next year, but I was going to lease a new uh, uh, Model S and I was already talking to uh, Tesla in August and all of a sudden, there, you know, I was just going to get the same one. I usually get the smaller battery. I don't care for like racing performance and all of that stuff. Then I realized that, oh my God, how is this so much more money? Like, oh yeah, we raise the prices, but it's a better car. Well, you know, Richard, you might be right. It, it, it is not that much better. Um, the hardware, feature, the, the AP features, the autopilot features are at this point are pretty much the same as they were three or four years ago. Uh, same as what I have on my autopilot 1.0. Yes, they have much bigger potential, but it's not here. So if I would have leased uh, the car two years ago, it would have actually been worse than a 1.0. So you, you, you kind of right. Um, the supercharging network is also worse because you don't get that for free anymore. And when we were getting it for free for the last couple of years, it was just for free for the first owner. And after that, it disappears. Now it's not even that. It's a hundred dollar credit for the first year. But the one that I have, 2015, has a super free supercharging for life. So yes, you can actually argue that things have gone a little downhill and you don't have as many. Yes, it's built a little bit better. Uh, yes, it has some of the uh, well, I, really, I was going to say some of the newer features, but except for the hardware for the AP, I really can't think of any. So um, I guess not. Uh, let me know. You know what? I'm, I'm, this is, I, I will, I'm going to agree with Richard, but I'm still thinking about it. So why don't you guys let me know what you think? Do you think that um, the $10,000 increase is, is not justified and, and what you're getting right now with the you know, base Model S, Model X is kind of the same or even worse? in some cases than what you would be getting three or four years uh, uh, before that. I'm actually curious to read uh, those comments. So yeah, go ahead and uh, post it in the comment section. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.